Happy Friday, everyone. Uh, well, actually, it's Thursday, but you'll be watching this video tomorrow, and I thought today would be a fun day to get inside the truck, which we normally can't do during bottling, to actually show you how we do our bottling here at Arroyo Family Winery. I'm Matt Moy, Vincent Arroyo Family Winery winemaker, and this is uh, one of our virtual uh, videos that we have been doing throughout the summer, and hope to continue doing that. Hopefully, uh, we'll see more of you here at the winery, and we can actually do a real tasting here, but uh, today we're gonna get up on the truck. I'll show you how the process works um, in terms of how we get our wines in a bottle, and uh, we'll go from there. But unfortunately, like I say, I can't do this during normal bottling because of COVID issues, so we won't be able to get in the truck uh, tomorrow. So I thought this would be a good day to do it. So I'm gonna stop the video, get up on the truck, and walk you through the process. Okay, so we just hopped up on the truck. Um, so basically how all this works is we, uh, Put the empty glass by forklift uh, down on the ground here. It's actually going to be elevated on pallets so it's level with the truck. Uh, there'll be two guys here on the truck uh, dumping glass. Um, so basically they'll open the box, the, the glass will fall out onto this uh, pad here. Let me see if I can switch this around here. Table here that we uh, drop the glass on. There'll be these uh, belts here moving, so feeding the glass into the truck. Uh, as the glass follows into the truck here, we get down to this next area here where the bottle uh, gets caught up in these uh, spindles here. Uh, what they'll do then is they will uh, take the bottle, they'll sparge it with uh, nitrogen gas. So we wanna get all of that oxygen out of the bottle. Uh, it then keeps going down the process here uh, to where we get to our filler. Uh, this is the filler. You see the bowl up there that's gonna be full of wine tomorrow, feeding into the truck from the tanks. Uh, these fillers then will pick up uh, the bottles, uh, they'll fill um, them up to the appropriate level and they'll keep going down this, this conveyor belt. Uh, the next step is going to be where our corks are going to be put in. So uh, this you can see up here, there's a, a hopper where we throw the corks in and it feeds into this machine here that pops a cork into each every bottle that goes through this uh, part of the process. Uh, we keep coming down here. Uh, we're getting down here. If this was a screw cap, there'd be a screw capper right here. So that, that's not on this run. So it's going to bypass that. We're going to keep going down and we'll get to an area where the capsule gets put on. Now this machine is called a spinner. And what it does is this thing here, you see each one of those little, uh, it'll, they'll drop the capsule onto the top of the barrel, uh, bottle. It'll spin and, and tighten it right on top of that top of the barrel there that we use tin as a material so it, it molds onto the top of that bottle it then comes down the conveyor belt as it keeps coming down here we get to an area where we get to the labeler and this area here is where you're going to get the front and back label uh, put on the bottle now since that glass has entered the truck no human being has touched the bottle so all of this is automated as it's going through um, it gets through this cycle here, and we're getting closer to the end of the, the bottling night. So we have wine in bottle, cork in bottle, capsule on bottle, and now label on bottle. And we're getting to here, and we get to this section right up here where the bottles are going in front of human beings. So we'll have three people on the other side of this uh, table here. As you can see, we have dividers here because of the COVID situation. So each one is protected while they're uh, working on the truck. Um, so they'll pull those bottles off the conveyor belt and there'll be empty boxes that they'll have below that they'll put them on. As they put the bottles in those boxes, they'll push those boxes. There'll be a, a belt or a, 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 a ramp that these things will be connected to. It's not hooked up right now, but it'll be hooked up in the morning. What that will do is then we'll, we'll it'll come down from that little table there down a, a ramp and it'll come down here. We'll have two people putting stickers on the boxes as they're coming down, a front label uh, on one side and a side label on the other. And then it goes through our taping machine right here. And then after our taping, it comes down and we'll have pallets sitting here where the wine will be deposited. And then as you can see back there is our forklift and we'll pack that into our warehouse after uh, it has been done. We use nitrogen. This is the nitrogen that we'll use tomorrow. Uh, so we'll hook that up to the truck to sparge those bottles so we won't have any oxygen in. That's called a doer. Um, yeah, as you can see back here is all our glass. So every one of these boxes here will be filled with wine. Um, today or tomorrow we will be bottling uh, our Cab Winemaker Reserve, our Cab Rattlesnake Acre, our Bodega, our Entrada, our regular Petite Syrah, our Reserve Petite Syrah, our Rattlesnake, 
uh, Petite Syrah and our Greenwood Ranch Petite Syrah. All in all, we're looking at doing just around 3,000 cases of bottling in one day. As we were in that truck, you saw uh, the normal average speed for us is about 90 bottles a minute. So we should start tomorrow about 7.30 in the morning and hopefully by 3, 3.30 in the afternoon, all of this will be back into our warehouse. Um, so we'll go walk back there. You notice that there's two different uh, rows of glass. Uh, there are two different types of bottles. So this glass here that you're looking at is the bottles that we use for our, our Bordeaux. So all the cabs, Bodega and Entrada, and all that glass back there is done for our Petite Syrah, which is in a burgundy bottle. Um, back in here, we'll get into the warehouse. Hopefully it's open. Um, here's some of our, our capsules that we use. Um, these are not being used in this run but these are what we use for the top of the bottle. So you can see those are the different capsules that each individual one. You can see a cool one off there. Um, so those are what we use as, the, as the, the closure on the top of the bottle, which is on top of the cork. Back into here. Of course it's locked. Um, but anyways, back here is our warehouse. This is where the wines are being stored for our upcoming uh, shipping. And uh, so yeah, that's, that's where we're at. We're uh, looking forward to a good run tomorrow. And uh, once this bottling is complete, all of our wines for the 2018 vintage will now be in bottle. So get ready for our awesome vintage to be released in uh, first of September for those who can pick up. And we'll start shipping our wines across the country starting mid-September and go through November. Sorry, Texas, you're gonna be one of the last ones, but uh, your heat uh, prohibits us from shipping this early. Um, so yeah, so we're, we're excited, we're getting good. The next step here at the winery is going to be focusing on harvest. Uh, so we are in Verasion right now. Uh, it's pretty warm out. I would take you out to the vineyard, but it's, it's pretty warm. But what Verasion is, is that the grapes are turning from green to red. So we're starting to see all of our vineyards transform into color. Um, hopefully, I think our first pick is gonna be probably late August. Uh, it's gonna be for our Pinot Noir, for our Rosé which we picked down in Carneros. So that'll be the first one. And then September, we get ready to rock and roll here at Royal uh, Winery with all of our estate grapes that will start coming in across the crush pad. Um, so that's that's the, what we're doing tomorrow or what you're, we're watching today. Um, and uh, hopefully you learned a little bit about how we do our bottling. I'm sorry, we can't show you the actual, but hopefully you can visualize and, and maybe in, in better times, we can do another video when they're here next summer and show you the real process. Um, everyone here is doing great. Tastings are still happening in the Rose Garden. We'd love to have you out. Um, if you can make it, we're being safe. Everyone is wearing masks. Uh, the wines are tasting delicious. Uh, and uh, the sparkling wine was a huge success as those who got a chance to get on board and buy some last weekend. We have a couple, maybe 10, 11 cases left. So if you haven't ordered your sparkling wine, it's not gonna last much longer and we won't have any until next year. So uh, if you're thinking about special occasions for the holidays, uh, go ahead and get some ordered. We can we can store it here to the fall for shipping if you want to save some pennies that way or come and pick it up or we have that awesome deal with Next Day Air and we can get it across the country to you. But uh, don't don't be bashful of getting that wine. It's, it's a great sparkler. Um, and uh, I think I need to snag a case too for Adrian. But uh, everyone uh, have a safe and happy weekend and uh, hopefully we'll see you next Friday. Uh, cheers and uh, thank you.